We're going to show you how to create Netflix in 2024. We'll talk about the platforms, the key features, and which one I would choose. So let's get into the four different options. Number one, to Uto. Number two, Flutter Flow. Number three, Superpass. And number four, Toddle. Now, let's go through each one and talk about the features and which ones I like and all that stuff. Let's start with Tiuto. Tiuto is a platform made for video, right? It's video platform simplified. So if you need to create a mobile app, a TV app, a website, all of those things, it's Tiuto. That's what it's made for. It is the premier platform to create a OTT platform. Now, with that, there are tons of different features that you can be looking at what you can be doing with it. You can have a video CMS, you can have a marketing components, the analytics, localization, you can have monetization by charging per individual video, a subscription, you can add ads. Again, you can have mobile apps, you can customize and do a lot of stuff with the HTML and CSS. You can do a lot with this. So because there's so many different options with Tuto, I'd first write down what are you trying to accomplish? What are some of the things that you're trying to do with your brand? And is this the right platform for you? I will say there are tons of different examples of brands that have used it. Um, and you would have no idea that they're using Tuto as their backend, but they're creating and going to market with this without needing to code. This is a great, great option. Also too, if you want to integrate different automations. So to cut out the manual work, you can have Make, Zapier, HubSpot, the list goes on. And then if you want to actually do a lot more with your custom platform, or you want to have even more control over the customization, they have uh, APIs, which just means two systems talking to each other, and SDKs, software development kits. So if you want to do more customization, you don't want to, you want to do things that are past the like out of the box features of Tuto, that's another feature that you can use as well. Flutterflow is a platform where you can create mobile apps very easily. You can create wonderful UI UX experiences with this thing. You get to deploy it to the Google Play Store, the uh, you know the Apple Store, all of those different things, and you can customize quite a bit what you want to do with Flutterflow. You can create tons of other types of applications but you can be doing this with Flutterflow. The reason I'm choosing them as one of the platforms I would use is that number one, Flutterflow is built on Flutter, which is a very popular um, code. Uh, so it's coded in something called Flutter and it's got a great community and you can, unlike a lot of other no code platforms, you can export your code. So if you decide to leave Flutterflow, and you're like, I just want to own my own code. I don't want to stay with this platform. You can do it if you want to. But the features, all the things that they keep releasing with Flutterflow is pretty ridiculous. And I'm just impressed with the team. Uh, also, too, they now have AI Gen. So if you are having trouble with the design aspect, you can do a lot of that with different text prompts. So it can actually be very helpful when it's helping you with the front end, the back end, all those things. Again, I always say that it's assistant. It's not going to do all the work, but it's great to help you build out your application. Next up, we're going to look at Superpass. Superpass is a platform where you're going to be able to have all your content in one platform. It's known for if you're trying to bring your podcasts and all of your different branding to one platform, you can do it. Imagine Superpass similar to Patreon, but white labeled. So if you wanna have different styles or different styles similar to like Netflix, where you can have a very streamlined experience with your video player, all of those different things, you wanna offer memberships, uh, paid subscriptions, all of those things, Superpass is a great option for you. Let's look at Toddle. Now, Toddle is a newer player in the no-code space, but they, like they mentioned, you can build the next Airbnb, YouTube, or Slack without a single line of code. It's pretty ambitious. There's a lot of things you can do with it. And we've seen a lot of people build some pretty crazy projects with it. Marketplaces, a lot of advanced apps with no code. We'll talk about some of the things, the pros and cons with it, but 
from talking to the team from Toddle um, and different things that we hear from the community, it's an interesting option and it's a new player. And if people want us to talk about it more in 2024, let us know in the comment section down below. Now that we looked at the key features of all the platforms, let's take a look at the pricing options of each. For Tuto, there's two different plat uh, two different payments now. You can do pay as you go, so it starts at zero, or you can have Tuto Prime. But this is really depending if you need to have a very specific um, functionality or bandwidth for your for your production. For example, if you're looking for 4K or 8K. If you're trying to restream, if you're using AI computer vision, you want to do AI recommendations, you want to do more advanced things, you can be looking at Tuto Prime. Or maybe if you're migrating tons of videos over to another platform, those are things to consider. The pay as you go, on the other hand, if you're just starting out, you can create the video on demand, the website, you can do all of those things up to 2K, unlimited admin and users visual channel editor, custom domain, 0% transaction fee. You have analytics, likes, comments, integrations, ad monetization, API support and SDKs. You can have an add-on of a mobile app or a TV app. And if you want to hear about that more, if there's going to be a link down below. They're running a special at the time of this recording. So if you want to hear more information, there'll be a link down below if it's still available at the time of you watching this. But that allows you, again, to lock in having your own mobile app, your own TV app, and that really takes your branding to a whole nother level. If you're worried about, like, how much is this going to cost me? Well, this really allows you to decide how much, how many videos you have, what's the length of the videos, and how many views you're, you're going to get. The reason this is all calculated is this is going to allow you to see, okay, how many videos do I have and what is it going to cost me, but also depending on how much people are watching my stuff, that's going to really change the price of what they're going to be charging per month. But these are really good deals. If you're looking, some people might say, well, this is too expensive. The alternative would be setting up an infrastructure as a service. So an ISSA, infrastructure as a service. Yeah, IAAS. And you would have to do this with Amazon Web Servers, You'd have to do this with uh, with um, Google Cloud Platform, Azure, the things go on and on. You have to manage all those things. And if you mess up on the structure of your system, you could be spending a couple hundred, a couple thousands, tens of thousands extra per month because you didn't set up this structure correctly. Tuto takes all of uh, takes care of all of that, that structure of that bandwidth as you're scaling for your for your audience, and you're just paying as you go. It's a great option if you're getting started and you're thinking about, I want to do this long-term. And then later on, if you want to, you can just switch over to Tuto Prime and you can contact them for the pricing and all those things. But again, to get started, very reasonable. And it's basically removing your need for you needing to have a CTO at times because they're doing all of those things. Now you can still have a fractional CTO if you're gonna be doing more advanced things, but you can start this without needing to code. They will help you, all of those things, and you can talk to a Tuto expert as well in signing up. There's a link down below if you wanna try it out. Now, if we're looking at um, for Flutterflow for the pricing, let's take a look. Starts for free. Um, the standard will be $30 and then $70. Usually we see either standard or uh, the pro. Why do we look at the uh, $30? Because if people want to download their code, right? And then you can use the APK downloads. But really, you can start for free. You can build out mobile, web, and desktop apps. You can do API integrations, uh, web publishing. For more details, you can scroll down more to see all of the tons of features that you can be doing with Flutterflow, but those are the basics. What I would say is if you're going to, when the time to publish and go to the Apple and Google Play Store, it's going to be 70, right? But you can start for free, build it out, test all of these things before you start publishing an app. And the thing that we say a lot with our client, to our clients and our students, just because it's in the app store, doesn't mean you're going to start selling more stuff. And by the way, if it's in the app store, remember, the app stores are going to take a percentage every time there's a transaction as well. So when you're building this as a side hustle or a business, they're going to be costs. To test out your idea, start for free, 
test it out, see what your audience is saying, and then go from there and scale. If you don't have an audience that's willing to pay, you're, you don't have a business. It's not, it's not there yet, right? So you have to test the pricing. Does this work? Are they paying? Why are you not? Why are they not paying? All of those things. And we also have the no code trends report that shows you what kind of apps sell, how people are making money with no code. There's a link down below, but that's something to consider because a lot of people come to us and ask, like, I think this should all be free. Nothing's free. Nothing's free. Even when you're on social media and you're using their services, they're getting information off of you. They're making money off of you. They're making money off of all your actions. So nothing is free. So if you're going to be creating your own platform, your own brand, it costs money to invest. You can start for free to start testing, but there's going to be a point where you're going to have to ask your audience to pay. And I would say sooner rather than later, because you want to test out all of those things. Why are they not buying? Why are they not converting before you go on? Now let's switch over to Superpass for that pricing. And if you see a trend, right, a lot of them, they're starting for free to have you try it out. And then depending on your features, go up. So for Superpass, you can create a website for free. You can create all of your landing pages. You can have a, a, a built-in member section. You can have comments, all those things. This is really, what I would say is Superpass, if you're doing video but it's not your main thing. You're going to be doing podcasts. You're building out your SEO with blogs. You want to have all these other things. I think that's where Superpass really excels. So do you need all these things right off the bat if you're trying to create like Netflix in 2024? Not really. But if you're trying to have that as a component where you're having video with the rest of your brand, I could see this being a great option. So you have all those things. You can collect emails. I think this is a great option because a lot of creators and a lot of brands, they try to build up a following first and then they try to consider this. You should be doing this in the beginning. You should be getting their emails, uh, email addresses because if you get banned from a certain platform, you're starting from scratch. But if you're collecting emails, you're getting your audience, that's going to allow you to take that forever versus if you're just basically renting space on a social platform that you don't own. So Superpass allows you to do all of the basics to build your brand pretty easily right here. When you scale up, that's when you can start, you know, really having more Netflix and things like that style. So what do I mean by that? If we do $49 a month, and that's if we're paying yearly, if we're paying monthly, it's $59. We get a custom domain, add a paywall selling subscriptions, sell one-off payments. That's really when we're cooking with gas, right? Keep 100% of your money, import YouTube videos, YouTube live streaming, video con uh, comments, all great stuff, right? Promo codes, we can do stuff with automation. If we're at the, let's see, and we can do mobile apps at that too, so we can add it, and then we can have 119. So if I wanna have that experience where I have my own custom app, um, it's 119 a month, I can have something that is similar to Netflix where I can actually have different categories. People can, you know, consume my content, all of those things. Um, so that's something to consider. So it would be 119. And then where I look at the most popular, that's going to be 297. So if I want the mobile app and if we're doing something like, um, like Netflix, we want to have that. So it's 297 a month net file, a Netflix style curation. See? That's where we're getting that at the most popular section. Stream, podcast network, okay. Audiobooks, music, branded as yours. Push notifications so you can talk to your audience. Spotify style, player, sell in-app purchases. Okay, so that's where we're really doing it at like 297. And then if we're doing um, the Apple TV app, things like that, that's gonna be a thousand a month. Again, I would probably see it in the premium or growth stage if I'm using probably uh, Superpass, but that's something to consider. Next up, Toddle. As we look at the pricing for this one, we're going to go to the hobby, which is free, startup, which is 20, and then we look at pro, which is get in touch. So you can have project, uh, public projects, non-commercial project. Toddle branding, 1 million requests. And that probably has to, yeah, has to do with APIs, right? So that's still quite high. You can start for free basically with all of these things. 
Then when you're getting with no branding, free kickoff call with a toddle engineer, $20, okay, per user. Okay, so we have this. And now let's see about this. Kickoff, okay. Now this would be interesting. Okay, for the four teams of, of max of three people. So the thing is per user is what we would be looking at, defining a user. I have more questions. The only thing that I see here, if people want us to find out, um, let us know. Um, but I would be defining a user. Is this more for internal internal use, those kind of things? Because you see how it can go up. See, per user right here, $60. So for max of teams of... So what I see right here, it's not giving me a max of how many users that I'm going to be having um, using my app. From what I can tell, we say for teams for up to max of three people. So I think my team... If I'm having three people on my team, that's when I'm getting charged $60 per month versus if I only have three users on my app. That's what I'm thinking. There are some internal tools like software that limit how many users can use your app. I think they're saying user in the sense of how many people are on your team that are building it out. And then if I look at Pro though, Pro is unlimited users. Interesting. Interesting. If you want us to know more about that, or if you want clarification, let me know in the comment section down below. That's something interesting with what I would look at. If this is more of an angling for more internal, or if this is going to be more for like scalability of tons of different users outside. Okay. Now that we've looked at the different platforms, the key features and which one I would choose, which one uh, now we're going to go into which one I would choose if I'm thinking about building my own Netflix. And the winner is, it's going to go with Tuyuto this year. Yeah, uh, we've been using Tuyuto, Tuyuto for many different years. They keep getting better. And when we're looking at the landscape of what is out there, Tuyuto has everything that we're looking for. It allows us to get started very quickly out, out of the box and allow us to create something that our audience likes and what our clients and students like. But also if we need to scale, it already has the APIs in the SDK, software development kits to scale and then bring it into more customization. We could even use the APIs and use something like Flutterflow if we wanted to, or if we're gonna do more custom coding, we wanna do Ruby on Rails or something like that. We have all of the, the components that we can just bring it over right there. There's tons of other things that they're going to be launching in 2024. Stay tuned. We'll do more videos. But that's what I would be looking for um, if I was trying to create a Netflix in 2024. I would use Tuyuto. But is that the only option that you could use depending on your needs? No. If you're already thinking about other components that you need, you want to create a membership, you want to be able to have a website, blog, SEO, and I'm doing all those things, Super Pass probably would be the option that I would use if it's just a component of video, but I'm trying to do a podcast where I'm getting sponsors and I'm doing all different other, if I'm doing all these other things that I'm a creator and I'm trying to do something similar to Patreon, probably lean more towards Super Pass than to Uto. If I am still thinking about creating all different types of app, I want to learn a fundamental, like a platform where I can sell my services, you know, be agile, pivot, do what else, all these different types of apps that I want, I'd go with Flutterflow. Those are, you know what I'm saying? But there's just so many different use cases. If I'm purely a brand that I am trying to create the best OTT experience, I want to have a TV app. I want to have a mobile app. I want to grow. I want to have multiple brands under me perhaps one day. I want to see myself as a media brand similar to like a niche Netflix. Tuyuto is going to be the one for you. But there are so many people that want to have so many different aspects. And I'm, I always say like, write down what's important to you, rate what features you need and where you are in your business, and then go from there. An honorable mention goes to Toddle. I like what they're doing with their team. 
I will say, if you are willing to put in the time, you want to do visual coding uh, or visual coding or visual applications, whatever it is, you're willing to put the time in, you want to have a community that are just really big fans of a platform. It's a very welcoming community. I would look at Toddle. It's newer, but there is not a lot of information out there right now. Like if you're comparing this to Bubble, Bubble has more, right? But Toddle, you can really scale this thing and do tons of things that are going to be very different even than Bubble. But the trade-off is you're going to have to understand um, <laughs> you're going to have to understand principles of CSS and design and all of these things. I would say ones that are interested, ones that are more on the low code side, devs that want to come in and don't want to, you know, code from scratch, but they're using the principles that they already know in coding. Toddle is very attractive. I really think that's a great option. Toddle is something that you can be building whatever you want. Quite a few things. There's only, I would say, like you can build 98% of the things that you want. Um, mobile experience, if all these things. Well, they're doing web and everything. Mobile stuff and native app. That's going to be, that's a whole other topic. But you can do a, quite a few things. And there's tons of things that are planning to release in 2024. If I want the best mobile experience, I want to think about, you know, releasing it to the app store and it's mobile first. That's the main thing. Um, then I would look at Flutterflow, but again, it's not made for, for video on demand or OTT. It can do it, but Tuto is made for that. It's made for that. That's the main purpose of the platform. And I see a lot of people are like, you know, I want an all in one everything. All in ones are great if you're trying to do, if you have many facets of your business. I will say, all in one platforms are never great at any one thing, though. They aren't. They can't be because they're pulled in so many directions. Their resources, their um, workflow isn't the best. If you pick any all in one platform, they are going to miss something of the intricacies unless you burrow down, right? We've talked about this. We have a link down below of our top five community platforms. There's tons of people that say they can do community. There's very few of the ones that I suggest, right? So the same thing, when we're looking at building a streaming platform, I have, I'm gonna go with Tuto. In the comment section down below, let me know which one you would choose. If you have more questions, remember we offer consulting calls, we work with students, brands, all of those things. We'd love to hear from you. And if you have more questions, let us know. We'll see you in the next 